Hey guys, welcome to Xbox On. Now, when it comes to indie games, they can be some of the most creative, inventive games out there. We're feeling nostalgic, so we thought we'd take a look at 10 indie games on Xbox that you cannot miss. Let's take a look. Episodic murder mysteries like The Council aren't what usually springs to mind when you think of indie games, but French studio Big Bad Wolf has created something truly special in this narrative-driven adventure. The story takes place among the powdered wigs and candlelight of 1793, as your secret society member Lewis accepts an invitation to a private island off the English shore. When you get there, you discover everyone at the get-together is incredibly famous. High-profile guests include French Emperor Napoleon Bonaparte, American President George Washington, and this random lady who you don't remember. This colourful cast has their own hidden agendas, and not all of them revolve around the most discreet way to make off with two plates of crisps from the buffet table. To fulfil your objectives, like gathering clues on your mother's disappearance and rendezvousing with persons of interest, you have to say exactly the right thing at the right time. And if you say the wrong thing, they never ever get over it. God, it's like talking to my ex. In any case, the council is a real step forward for adventure games. If you've never heard of Tricky Towers, it's basically what happens when someone adds physics to Tetris. Now, here's something I never thought I'd say, but physics is amazing, because as Stephen Hawking himself discovered, it adds so much unpredictability to everything. As you race to build your teetering tower against other players, your blocks don't just fuse magically together like a sticky Jenga. You actually have to take care to get your foundations right, and if you build around a precarious placement, well, then you're screwing your future self over. Not just that, but other players and even the weather can totally screw you over with high winds and random giant shapes that not even the world's most daring architect could dare implement. If trying to master physics isn't enough, you have to do it whilst your opponents are striving to reach the great finish line in the sky, or to make sure they keep under this laser barrier in this mode. Tricky Towers is definitely the type of game for anyone who ever ran over to a little kid's sandcastle and knocked it over before cheering. Oh, come on, who hasn't done that? I'll set the scene for you. You play the part of Boone as you wake up during the Sexy Brutal, a yearly party that takes place in a casino mansion. A mysterious woman, called the Bloody Girl, informs you that the party members are being killed off, and it's up to you to stop it. She gives you a mask and a watch, and tasks you with reliving those same 12 hours over and over again to find out who is killing the party guests off. Pretty cool idea, right? The way to solve these foul murders is to explore the mansion, discovering clues, recipes, and items. It's one of the most unique games I've played in years, and involves real cunning and planning. As you explore the mansion, you'll need to stay out of sight, so learning the guests' patterns and routines is key. Eavesdropping in on conversations as you hide away out of sight is a tense affair, but is essential to work out why anyone would want to murder the party guests. With an incredible music score and a unique art design that brings the gothic mansion to life, you'll be totally caught up with this Groundhog Day murder mystery fest. There are two times in my life that I have laughed until I almost died. The first was when I watched Lee Evans live at the O2, and the second was when I played Quiplash with mates. You're seriously taking your life in your hands with this multiplayer quiz game, the aim of which being simply to make your opponent snicker and chortle. To get involved, first you need a smartphone. After you sign in and the match begins, the first question appears on screen like so. You have to come up with the best possible answer and write it on your phone. After the time's up, the remaining players vote for which one made them laugh the most. And if they're stuck in a laugh coma from the sheer hilarity, that's an automatic win. Quiplash coaxes out your comedic mind with its open-ended questions, and usually the most creative answer is funniest. It's a game for anyone who likes to laugh with, at, or directly in the face of their mates. Virginia is a truly unique experience. Similar to games like Edith Finch and Tacoma, it's more of an interactive story that really packs a powerful punch. The game follows graduate FBI Special Agent Ann Tarver as she investigates her first case, the disappearance of the missing boy in rural Virginia in 1992. You're paired up with an experienced partner, and your trust for each other is tested as you delve deeper and deeper into the mystery. What makes Virginia so compelling is there's no speech, the music does all the talking, yet manages to convey even the most complex 
complex emotion. The game's transitions are excellent too, with cuts and dissolves that are dictated by the story. This creates a real cinematic feel and pushes the story along in a very clever way. There's no puzzles or skills required, it's more about experiencing this complex tale where the sleepy town of Virginia is not quite what it seems. If you're looking to play something a little bit different from your average shooter or RPG, then make sure to check out Virginia. Another instant same screen classic this, Towerfall is essentially an ultra tense archery deathmatch where victory is awarded to whoever doesn't have an arrow sticking out of them. It's not only the concept but the execution of this addictive indie game that grabs you. For instance, you've only got a set number of arrows so if you fire them all off too carelessly you'll have to run around all vulnerable whilst you retrieve them. Saying that, it's a perfectly legit tactic to spam your quiver in one go and try to overwhelm your opponent. You can also dodge arrows, but if you're willing to take a risk, you can attempt to catch one in midair before adding it to your bow. And watch out for stage specific features like thorn bombs and arrow types like drill arrows. Arenas and power ups modify the game, but underneath it all, it's a perfect bit of competitive multiplayer that really hits the target. You have one aim in speedrunners, run speedily. It's all in an effort to complete the course in the fastest time and beat your equally speedy rivals. This by itself is fun, but the game reaches a new level entirely when you start to learn each map and really hone your run. You'll unearth new shortcuts, learn to use the scenery to build momentum, and piece together routes that'll shave milliseconds off your time, all as you chase that elusive perfect lap. Weapons make the action that much more fraught. You can litter the path with boxes to trip over and fire rolling balls of lava ahead. But everything that can be fired can also be dodged, with skillful use of your grappling hook, slide, and wall jump with the key to success. It's just incredibly satisfying to battle an equally skilled opponent at speedrunners and seeing what strategies emerge. Ah, the old box on the head. Always a good one. Set in a steampunk London, the swindle follows a group of thieves who are attempting to hijack an AI being developed by Scotland Yard. If the AI is completed, the thieves exploits will be over, and that's not something any self-respecting thief wants. The game itself takes place over 100 days. On each of these days, a thief is sent on a heist to a different part of good old London town. Whilst there, your thief can search the region for money, all the while avoiding or destroying guard robots. God damn intelligent AI. It makes stealing other people's stuff so much more annoying. Your thief can hack computers for extra dough and bug locations to get some extra cash flowing in. You'll need all of this to pull off your biggest heist on the 100th day, so sticking your neck out is essential if you want to succeed. Of course, with a stuck out neck comes the chance of losing your head, with a swindle using permadeath. Try not to get too attached to your law defying friend as you could see them getting replaced an awful lot. If you enjoyed the likes of Spelunky and want to see if you can pull off being the best thief in all of London, then make sure to check out the swindle. You have just 60 seconds to complete a stage in Super Time Force, but don't worry because you can control time. Also, you have a skateboarding dinosaur at your disposal. When you die, you just rewind yourself back to a point where you're not dead, pick a new character and then get back to living again. But what's good is your ghost actually sticks around so you can team up with your past self. The trick to Super Time Force is doing loads of damage before dying, then respawning and doubling or even tripling that damage with recorded versions of yourself. Take this boss, who you have to fire on from multiple sides using your ghosts, or this massive armoured dinosaur, who requires considerable firepower to down. As you've probably guessed, Super Time Force doesn't take itself too seriously, and it's an era-spanning story about travelling through time to erase mistakes of the past. You'll head to 10,000 BC, medieval times, and the 31st century. If I teamed up with a past version of myself, we could watch so many Netflix shows. Lovers in a Dangerous Space Time mixes bright neon space adventures with saving fluffy animals, so basically all my dreams come true. The path of animal rescue is never easy though, and piloting your ship can be a real challenge. Each station in your ship controls different things, whether it be weapons, engines, shields, cannons, or a map, so you'll find yourself running from station to station in a frantic attempt to keep moving and to stay safe. Seems like a weird way to design a ship, but eh, who am I to judge? Thankfully, you'll discover gems along the way which can be attached to your ship, allowing you to power it up and go through the dark, dangerous depths of space with a little more ease. These power-ups will come in extra handy when it comes to taking down those troublesome bosses too. Where this game definitely excels is in local co-op mode. Barking orders at your mates whilst you desperately try and steer your ship is hilarious, and it takes real coordination to keep things running smoothly. Although, if you play in single player, you can have an adorable raccoon as a co-pilot, and I'd take that over Benny any day. So there we have it, 10 incredible indie games you need to check out. Do let me know in the comments below if I've missed any of your favourites, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you want to stay up to date with all things Xbox. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!